What's going on, guys? We're here. We made it to In and Out <laughs> with Nick from Fish Show Magazine. Yee! We got Daniel. We got Luke. And we're going on an adventure, but we got to grow first. And what better place than to come to In and Out and uh, get one of these delicious burgers that Daniel already chomped away but um we're gonna talk to nick real quick before we go on our trip should be fun tonight right nick's visiting, up, uh, visiting us first in his whole week adventure so in true fashion this is nick's first time at in and out <clears throat> so like any true california trip we have to take him to in and out you know the world's best burger you guys can comment. Leave a comment below on what you think. But for the most part, no boat trip is complete without a burger. No California trip that is, true. is complete without in and out And that's what we're doing today. That is true. Yeah. And if you want to leave a comment that says, you know, like, oh, I don't like in and out Their fries are only good if you eat them right away because yeah. they got to be fresh. Just unsubscribe, unfollow. <laughs> we're not interested in messing with you. So, because you don't need to be part of this journey. Yeah. First time in and out Damn. A um, little overwhelmed here. I think I ordered a double, 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 triple, double. Uh, all doubles. All, du all doubles and triples. No, I did a massive over order here, but um, yeah, it's absolutely, it's absolutely epic. And you know, one of the best things about fishing is just this, man. You get to um, get to uh, get to load up, um, and pit stops part of the adventure, you know. So um, my uh, doctor's not gonna love it, but the shit's delicious. So fucking we'll just, amen. We'll just leave your doctor out of this one. So. So, so where did it start? I'm imagining you started fishing in Australia. Um, yeah, man, in in Australia for sure. What part of Australia? Um, caught a caught a butter bream in the Brisbane River, up in the um, in the hot part of Australia. And yeah, man, that's my my backyard. There was um, the type of islands you see on cigarette packets from the '80s. You know, real mm. white sand, mm -hmm. real 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 blue water, and me it was always pretty simple just pulling up with you know pulling up a tinny onto a reef and just cracking a beer open and dropping something kind of bloody on a hook down and you know neptune's aquatic lottery baby you never know what you're gonna get on a on a on a uh, on a reef in australia so um but that's it man that's the uh, that's my that's i still have a lot of love for you know hot water fishing and pelagic pelagic species and um and um, yeah, I could I could go on, man, but I'll spend I'll spend yeah. folks. So I mean, like let's let's be honest. What we're gonna do tonight, calico fishing, is pretty cool. There's only a few places down the coast you're gonna be able to do this, but it's not the same as pulling on a wahoo in clear blue water. So oh, dude, like, don't we're not get, we're don't not get me wrong, man. The number of times I've we're done not that pretending. Is, we're not pretending. The number of times I've done that is uh, is. Uh, is very few, you know. It's the, I'd say that a lot of my a few more than me. The, the equivalent <laughs> of your urban fishing stuff, your your mm -hmm. you know your your inshore stuff here. Um, the equivalent in Australia is like I don't know, chasing yellowtail kings. Yeah. Um, you know, chasing bream snappers. Um, our our equivalent of your kind of calico calico basses and bass species, because that's what's accessible, man. Not everyone can get on a you know, on a game boat and chase wahoo and marlin. So this is, this is, uh, this type of stuff is, um, yeah, it looks, it looks great to me. I've been, I've obviously been following all you lads and a bunch of bass fishing folks down in LA for the longest time. So the chance to like get out on the actual water and, and see how it's done. I mean, there's nothing, nothing beats, uh, you know, nothing beats the real thing. So how'd you end up coming over here oh shit um came over to san francisco to work for levi's um my my background was you know in, as a creative director in marketing i'd worked for nike and adidas and a few places like that and got a chance to come over to san francisco and work on levi's and was like fuck that sounds like fun to me so i came over and uh 
and I just I just dug the city, man. I loved I loved San Francisco, and uh, and then I met my missus. That was it. Uh, and then I'm never coming back. Now I'm a, now I'm an American, bro. Stars and stripes. Don't sound how, like it, but uh, how long ago like was that? That uh, was about <laughs> ten years ago, man. All right. About ten years ago, and um, yeah, you know, dude, just stuck to stuck to be here, having an all American moment with the fucking. <laughs> with the with That's it, it, man. It's hard to say if there's anything else that's this American besides like a baseball game and a hot dog. Yeah. So, Survival is universal. <laughs> a baseball game and a hot sure. dog. Yeah. No, I'm um, I'm stoked. Stoked to see how it's done, and, and I'm really here to shoot the you know the upcoming. I've done two issues of Fish O magazine, the print artifact. You know, I do. I have the Instagram which is fun and a dope way to meet people. But, you know, for me, it's all about the print, the print issues. And, um, and uh, I'm really here to shoot stills for, for, for that. Um, I'm already snapping off, you know, some, some cool stuff. LA's mad for texture, you know, it's just... That's LA. Mad for everything. Mad for everything. Mad for shots fired. Mad for sounds too, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, I'm excited. So you got a full itinerary this week, right? You're gonna meet. Can you let us know who you're gonna? I mean, you're meeting up with us first. Yeah, meeting up with um, meeting up with you guys first, and and I've um, as I as you know, no pun intended, but bit off way more than I could chew. You know, talking to a bunch <laughs> just of like this order. Yeah, just like this, just like this order. Um, Nick went ahead and uh, ordered himself. Two double doubles. Yeah, and a hamburger. No, he ordered three. And oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so who have I reached out to? I, Don't I, worry, by the way, if you have any left, we can yeah. take it for the dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take it. No, he will eat it on the boat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I reached out, well you, well, you guys, obviously, had such a blast on the podcast and was like, I got to meet these dudes in the flesh. Uh, and then Jordan. Um, mangled and tangled. Yeah, Jordan, mangled and tangled, man. He's such a cool dude. And he's really into fish oil, man he gets it he gets mm -hmm. what it's about and and on and, and on that level i'm i i'm stoked to i'm stoked to meet him and also you know some of that like dock hopping stuff that he does mm -hmm. i want to that's a that's a look of fishing in la that i, I want to try and capture too um it's a very true. controversial look at some point <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah right right now we're like in thin water with a lot of different harbors with the grow with the sport growing there's also a responsibility to talk about, hey, you got to still respect it. That's somebody's yeah. backyard. That's somebody's like yeah. side yard. Like, we, can't, we can't argue with that, right? Yeah. Like, I, like can. I'm, I'm, I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, you can. You want to spend $600 a month for a boat slip, expect people to be walking around and fishing next to it. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah. Like you bought, you bought a boat slip in a playground. I don't know yeah. what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very controversial <laughs> way. Uh, you're going to meet up with Mangle and Tangle. Yeah, and True Punks, True Tom, Punks, Tom, Tom, Tom Punks. Are you, yeah. Is it going to be a separate trip? No, we're going to do it. We're going to do it to, together. Um, all, all three of them are super cool to hang out. Yeah. So, so those guys, I've, I've, think so. I'm actually <laughs> fishing with you guys to vision with you guys tonight. Then I'm going to Santa Monica because I want to shoot Venice. I want to shoot mm -hmm. Venice Pier, Santa Monica Pier, and just characters along that's that. That's all the right that, That's um, all this area. Yeah. So, so that's the idea, and then. Then heading back towards you know Long Beach to go out with Mangle and ta Mangle and Tangle with Tom, and then I'm hoping to I'm hoping to um, hook up with the guys from Kicker Fishing, uh, Randy and and Skylar as well um, on Saturday. On yeah, on Saturday on Saturday evening. I think we're still trying to lock down what what time for you know what what the logistics and timing is, but it's not a podcast, but. Um, so uh, and then that's that's and then also John at Stay Bent. I, I would love to see the East LA kind of style. Those guys, you know what they do. What they do is so creative and inventive mm -hmm. with their events and their and their um, merch and and um, we just love to capture that that part of the that that scene of, of um, fishing in the city. You know. Um, and that's what I got on, but I'm speaking to a bunch of other people, and I'm I'm I, I think I've, 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 I'm done, man. I might not be able to fit more than that in this trip. I'm gonna have to split it up and try and come back to do San Diego and you know other crews down the coast as well. So yeah, the, just one man. <laughs> just the one. cool part about it is there's a lot of hospitality in this industry, mm -hmm. especially yeah. with 
the relationships that you make on Instagram, yeah, uh, or just social media or online in general, is like you almost build this camaraderie. But also, you're like, oh no, I I know this guy. I've been talking to him for you know two years, and, and you know, in this yeah. situation, you kind of talk to your wife. Yeah. She's like, oh, so how do you know this guy? And you're like, um. <laughs> well, well, they never, I mean, no one ever will understand that side of it. You know? No, we, we grew up in a society where it's like, all right, don't talk to people on the internet, don't meet up with strangers, don't get on you know, in their cars. And I mean, that's how I met Luke, uh, a stranger online. And yeah. I actually got on his boat at like why 3 a.m. Yeah. Why do you think I didn't go with him at 5 in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. 5 in the morning, it was 2 in the, the morning. morning. But it, it's cool to see the hospitality and everybody just coming. Like, yeah, you, you I made that post that was like, "Hey, I'm coming down to LA," and I feel like everybody was just like, "All right, let's." Yeah, <laughs> like rushed you with I ideas. Mean, it's super, LA is super special, you know. LA and SoCal, San Diego too. But like, I never intended Fisho. When I put Fisho out, I didn't really have a, um, you know, the first issue was just like people said this shit doesn't make any sense you know this is street photography and fishing photography and it's just all gumbo together and and uh you know and i started kind of like sending it out to people whose who whose um whose fishing lifestyles looked interesting to me and it weirdly just it just like people in socal really liked it i don't know man it was uh, just like an energetic thing it was like they, they kind of dug it and i like their scene and and so it just you know it just um it just built it just built like that even though i'm in i'm in seattle you know people sometimes think i think they think i'm maybe in socal well, there's, like how you said it, it didn't necessarily like vibe with a lot of people but it did in socal because there's something about it where it's like what's in this magazine right now is mirroring our is mirroring what we do it's mirroring our vibe yeah like there was there was a real like there was a real reflection there yeah yeah well, it's like it's like you have skateboarding and hip-hop right yeah who would have thought fishing and hip-hop went together yeah right yeah and like and it's and skateboarding but that but that's it i mean there are so many people like you know dudes like goonie wolf and 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 um dimension you know the, the, i i dialogues I've had with these guys and talking to Matt for them too. I mean, skating, graffiti, street, fishing. Yeah. This is all, yeah. this is a world and it's my world because my background's from street photography. So, you know, and, and I'm a fisherman. So I just, there's natural. The, the, the funny, the else. funny thing yeah. about it is the people that mesh with fishing are so diverse that it's like outside of fishing, they probably wouldn't be friends. Yeah. Like, or they wouldn't even know each other yeah. because their paths wouldn't have crossed. But then, you know, you meet somebody at a tackle shop, you comment on somebody's, you know, profile, you message them, I don't know, you start a conversation and then you're like, oh, this guy's so cool. But you would have never met that person outside of fishing. But, but that's the cool thing about fishing is it's so expansive and global that you can make friends anywhere with different hobbies, with different interests, likes, and all that stuff to where that's kind of what this LA situation is because Luke's talking about hip hop, uh, you're talking about graffiti, then it's like, but you're like, oh, but it encompasses everybody. This is like such yeah. a underground punk and like kind of grunge yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. world, but it encompasses everything. Yeah. Well, that's part of it too, right? Because we're, we're sitting here in LA, like the movie capital of the world, but what we're doing is counterculture. So yeah. people will go like, oh, I hate LA. I went to that city. I've never been to such a cold city. Everyone's a jerk. Everyone's stuck up. But then you talk about hospitality, but that's because, you know, what you've plugged into is kind of the counterculture of the city. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's totally fair. And you know, I, I'm also like, I'm very into. Um, I'm also into the style of fishing as well. You know, I think that I think that I love you know the punk punk rock look of fishing as well. And I also love the you know a little bit more kind of like stepped up look as well. I mean, when I see the kick of fishing guys you know out on their out on their bus and california they current and have absolutely and, brought uh, the a game yeah, yeah you know got, sharp fellas. And lateral yeah. the lateral vision you know the guys with lateral vision too it's like it's um 
yeah props it, it looks it looks it looks um it looks dope and as someone who's always been into street wear uh, street fashion too i'm like the the mashup of like fishing fashion and street fashion is like super interesting to me and it can go a little high or it can go low it, yeah. you know and it, but it all it all marries together and i'm the, into all of it the cool part is almost the essence that people bring into whatever they're creating like you said john from stay then but to even go further i mean i love what caesar from toxic bait oh, does for sure. and caesar then his is, whole caesar setup and I, I, i'm laughing right now because i'm like oh my god we just dropped so many different names in yeah. the industry and it's just like pop 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 and i'm just like all right well here's another one but they are they're oh, all night nice. they're all people all that, I'm, that I'm, I'm i'm in touch with that have like that have shown love for Fisho and and have like allowed me to learn their stories and and it's part of a picture you know it's part of a picture that's that all these people folks help help me complete so when i when i come to put out this next issue you know i want to capture every aspect of um you know of of uh fishing you know in in socal that that i can um and yeah caesar is a is is a fucking boss dude he's, <laughs> he's uh He's smoking blunts. He he's smoking blunts for breakfast, and, Dude, and I, uh, I'm yeah. looking through the mag. I'm like, what can I say? I don't know. I I love his <laughs> stories because it's just like a blunt juicing yeah. and fishing yeah. and you're just like you know what? i'm i'm there for it and then it's about carl i will absolutely love that dog for the rest of my life <laughs> so a little, like a little off topic but having when, when we were first starting out looking at a guy like caesar and going like man how cool is toxic day i gotta find a time to get up to toxic day yeah it, it's hard you know but yeah. like i really i want to go to toxic day so bad that's like on my big bucket list of things to do and then we do glizzies and caesar comes down to glizzies it so was sick. like oh my god it's like toxic day came to us yep yep no yeah, it's like, it's uh it's right and all these, event, a better dude. all these events too like you know i'm trying to thread the needle to see if i can while I'm down here, I can join join in on anything. But I um, have tackle meet on Saturday morning. Yeah, I hear I, I hear that, and um, yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be in Long Beach area, you know, um, around there, and I'm just uh, just cruising, yeah. man, cruising for um, cruising for for stories and. Yeah, we're gonna be 15 minutes north of Long Beach. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, not yeah, so south of Long Beach. Definitely would would be cool to stop by, you know. As one of your stops, if no, you can make it. Don't add anything else to this. Uh, right? Yeah, I'm gonna bribe. <laughs> It'll be right on you. Right on you. Right. <laughs> just go. Just go. Put me on a wheelbarrow all the way to the airport because I'm. Uh, what time you get to Long Beach? Uh, I'm getting to Long Beach. Well, I need to. <laughs> I, need to <laughs> I need to get back to Jordan. He's like, can you be here at like 4:30 a.m. To, to to you know to go to go real early? I think him and Tom just want to get up and hit the fish at the best hour. I'm yeah. like, I might die, dude. I'm, I've only slept like three <laughs> hours in the last. Dude, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? So you got Friday to sleep. I go for I go Friday. To, I go Friday so, to sleep. Funny story about that. I go fishing with, I think I went fishing in the morning with them at four in the morning. I think I met them up at four in the morning and then I went fishing with Fino like right after, right? So I didn't even sleep, man. And uh, I'm uh, I'm fishing his, I'm fishing in front of his, it's a little small bull, right? I cast and I'm like reeling really slow, right? Cause I, I, I like fishing slow. Dude, tell me why I fell asleep standing up and I fell back. And I'm like, I, he's like, what happened? I'm like, my knee gave out, man. My knee gave out. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah, knee I'm gave out. I might be, uh, I might be there, that, but I'm, that's going to be, yeah, we, we, that's we, we, we all had those days out here doing that. Like running, running double headers. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's it. I'm going to push as much as I can and cram as much as I can in. And, and, uh, yeah, it's just super, super grateful for everyone who's who's reached out and this is you know it's a lot lots of folks what so. you got any last questions before we head back oh i was just about to drop in a bomb i was going to say if do you have anywhere else that you've kind of been in contact because you know you you're very dialed into the la scene is yeah. there another city that you're like oh man oh, well, that's san diego would be would be sick oh um, that's the, that's I, the I, next trip i think that would be the next trip yeah i don't think i can do it this time around but it's definitely on my you know, definitely on my right eye. Yeah, on my to-do list. Any for any sure. other state outside of California that you're thinking about? 
Well, or, I mean, yeah, I, I, I go, can't. I go global. I, I, I uh, you know, the, the thing about this next year, so I, I won't give away what the concept is for it, but um, <laughs> it's <laughs> got it's, it's got a lot of, yeah, it's, it's uh, well, it's issue two, because I stupidly called issue, the first issue, issue zero. Everything up, because then I've got issue zero <laughs> is actually one. issue one, and okay. issue two is actually like, so. I haven't technically, got issue one yet. I gotta get a hold of that. Yeah, yeah, I got, uh, I got, um, I got it here. I got it here. I got it here for you, for you, for you fellas. I so it's five thirty. It's five thirty. Oh, five forty-one. Sorry. That's perfect. We had just enough time. Five forty-one. We're gonna head back to Luke's house and get this boat ready. Watching this interview, uh, we'll be putting out a video soon of this trip. Artemis playlist. Fishing the wall with Artemis. It'll be on his playlist on Time on the Water, so stay tuned for that. Nick, please. Thank you for uh for joining us tonight, man. It's I'm pretty stoked. We're all stoked. Thanks for having me, dude. So I'm uh yeah, super grateful. Super grateful to be so, here and just see how it's done. Food's done? Food's done. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. Excitement!